Hello and welcome back to Car Fix. Today we are testing out the C3 Crystal Clear Nitrate Remover for aquariums. So as you can see, this is the 300 gram bag for up to 250 litre tanks. Mine is 300, but I don't mind if it leaves a bit of nitrate in there because I do have some plants that need nitrate. So quick explanation of what this is supposed to do is it is a resin that you put um, last in your filter so this will be going in my canister filter so the water will go through the sponges through all the bio media then finally through this resin and it's specifically designed to strip nitrate from your water so that is what I'm going to be testing today I'm going to put it into the filter and test my water now and then again in 24 to 40 hours time and see if there is a reduction. I will cut now to a video I um, did yesterday of me testing my tap water and tank water. And then I'll come back to go through some more instructions about what to do with this and get it open. Yes, yeah, so I'm just filming uh, about 24 hours or so before I've put the pads in just to show you what the water level is looking like out of the tap and currently in the tank using the API nitrate liquid test kit where you put 10 drops of each into five ml of water and it gives you an outcome based on color reading as you already probably know. So this is my tap and I think through the lens you're looking at 20 to 40. If I do hold it up to the daylight, it's roughly the same. It's probably more closer to 20 to, to 20. So you say there's about 30 ppm in there. And obviously this one is much darker if you hold them up together. It probably don't come across on camera so much, but I think you can tell that this one is darker. And via the camera, you can see it's a lot further down the scale. You're probably looking at 40 between 40 and 80 and if I do hold it up to the daylight as well it looks a bit lighter so I'd say it's roughly 60 so we're looking at 60 ppm on the nitrate in the tank at the moment it's obviously higher than I want it to be long term I do have plants in there if you've watched my other videos so they are sucking some nitrate out as well and I'll come back with an update 24 48 for hours from now with another test kit on the tank water and we'll see if we're sitting way lower than the 60 70 ppm we're at at the minute so yeah as you can see there i've got like fairly high nitrates both from the tap and in my tank so this is from countrywide aquatics um, here in England, C3 Nitrate Remover. There is a couple of other different companies that you can buy this type of thing from as well. I just chose these. It is £30 for this 300 gram bag. It's about £10 per 100 grams. The more you buy, the slightly less it gets. Like I say, made for 250 litres, this particular bag goes in your filter. And the reason why... I'm spending money on this because normally I'm not a fan of chemical filtration and having to replace it all the time, which is why I never use carbon and things like that, is that this can be regenerated. So if you're noticing your nitrates are going back up after using this for a month or two, or however long it takes to get clogged up with the nitrate particles, you can put this in salt water for 24 hours, 12, 24 hours, and it strips all the nitrate from the resin and then you can reuse the bag as if it was new again so it might cost 30 pound up front this particular bag but if you're using rodi water you'd have to buy the the actual contraption to to get the di uh, to actually make the osmosis water then you're going to have to buy all the salts and whatnot to put the different minerals you want back in in the long run over a year it's going to cost you a lot more than this and this is a one-time purchase and also, if you're constantly buying Seachem edition products to restrict nitrate and whatever their version of it is, or, or what other aquarium companies there are that provide these supplements to your tank that you've constantly got to keep putting in to keep it stable, 
personally, I'm not a fan of that. I want something that I've used once, it's always there and it will keep things stable. I don't want to be dosing all the time. So what I'm going to do is get this in the filter. Yeah, so here's my filter. Uh, the issue I'm having is it comes with four of these trays and then this pole that connects them all together. But obviously this will not lay across there when they're all in. So what I've done is put three of the trays back in then poured the rest of my biomedia over the top. So there's three trays and then a tray's worth of biomedia. Then I'm going to put that over the top of there, over the top of the trays. And then, because the top piece needs to go back on there so it can connect to the pump to pump it back through. I mean, somebody tell me, is there any need for the trays? I know it neatens things up, it makes things easier to get in and out when you're cleaning it. But I think if you bagged up all of my media, you could stack a lot more bio media in there than what you can get in there in four of these little trays. So this is how I'm going to run it anyway, because you need that to be laid across so the water comes up and goes as through as much of this as possible before going before going back to the tank. So that's how I'm going to run it. I'll put it back together and I'll be back with the results. Right, everyone, I'm back with the 48 hour results of the C3 nitrate remover resin from Countrywide Aquatics here. So, been in the filter now 48 hours. We know from earlier on in the video that I had 60 to 80 parts per million of nitrate in my tank with no resin. So I did a test, a, a control test with rainwater um, with my test kit to make sure my test kit was working after the results that I got. But obviously it is because there's no parts nitrate or very little nitrate in the rainwater. So at my tap from earlier on, we know we get the 30 to 40 ppm. Um it's not orange, it's not fully red. I mean, if I hold it up myself, it's hard for you to tell on camera, like I said in the previous one, but if I put it there, look, it's orangey red, so it's 30 to 40, I'd say. But as you can tell from just laying these down, they're pretty much almost identical. So 24 hours, it's basically the same. And 48 hours here is the same as well. So the 30 to 40 parts per million scale on here. So what has it done? It's basically half the amount of nitrate in my tank. It's not stripped it to zero yet. Will it over the course of the next week? I'm not sure. It'd be, I'll do another test in a week and maybe put a short up or something. Or put in a pinned comment where I am after a week of this being in the tank. See if it's fully stripped all of the nitrate out. Or whether it's going to leave this 30 to 40 parts in there. But as you can see these three. The 24 tap and 48. They're almost they're, they're identical. 30 to 40 parts million. was up at 60 to 80 before. So 50% of the nitrate stripped. I have high nitrate out the tap, which is a massive problem for me in my area. Then with the nitrate from the fish in the tank, things can get out of control quickly. So does it work? Yes, it's reduced the nitrates in my tank by 50%, which is a large percentage for my, myself and my nitrate. Like I say, in the next week, I'll put another update, pin comment on there short or something to say where it's what it's done after a week of being in there if anyone else has got any experience with this stuff let me know what it did with your nitrates um if it should be stripping the lot or whether this is what you should expect from this kind of um this kind of uh chemical filtration so yeah if you want to hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think of it. 
Am I impressed by it? £30 worth of resin. Got rid of 50% of my nitrates. The jaw is still out. I mean, it's doing its job. From what I'd read about it and the other videos I've watched, I thought it'd be stripping everything out. But as I do have such high nitrates, I will give it a chance to work over a week. Give an update after a week and see where we are. So I'm going to stop rambling, like, favourite, subscribe, comment with questions and yeah, hit me up on the next one.